Hello everyone, it is Toby here and I am going to explain to you how you can start up a home gym of your own just like this one and the best ways to do so on a budget and the ways that I did it to build a home gym space just as good as this one over the past three or four years. So jumping straight in, there are a few common misconceptions when it comes to starting up a home gym. The first one is that you need a lot of money. Most of this home gym space was built on a student budget over the course of my time at university and only very recently have I got a job where I can actually afford to buy some nicer equipment. So most of this was done on a budget over the course of a few years and I will explain to you how you can keep costs low and get a much nicer home gym space than you might even expect for as little as you pay. And the second misconception is that you need a lot of space. Obviously, I'm very fortunate here to have quite a big garage space to convert into a home gym, but it was not always this way. If you remember back a few years ago, if you're a long-term viewer of the channel, I was lifting and recording videos out of my bedroom, and that is two different bedrooms that I converted into a very, very small home gym. I know people like Juji Mufu have done apartment kitchen gyms and similar. You really don't need a lot of space. One small room will do enough. So yeah, here's a couple photos on screen now of my bedroom gym. And as you can see, I have the same power rack that I have now in that bedroom. It was literally maybe a four foot space, uh, a four foot by eight foot space that I had down the side of my bed that I managed to fit that in. But it was fantastic and that was where I prepped for my first ever strongman comp. So it really shows that you don't need a lot of space. So now we have got the misconceptions out of the way that might turn you off this video because sometimes people click on and go, actually, I don't have the space or the money to do this. Let's jump in to a few tips and tricks of how I built this home gym on a budget with limited space. So the first tip is don't buy new. And you may be thinking, well, I want some nice shiny new equipment, but the cheapest and most budget friendly way to get some really, really good equipment, especially now that COVID has ended and the lockdowns have ended, is to go on sites like Facebook Marketplace, eBay, or just ask around and pick up pieces of equipment secondhand. And I have done this with a multitude of pieces of gym equipment, such as behind me, this kettlebell down here is the newest addition to the gym. And I bought this, a usual 22 kilo kettlebell, could be anywhere from 50 to 60 to 70 pounds. And I got this for 20 quid off a of Facebook marketplace from someone who was clearing out their home gym. Nearly brand new, a couple of scuff marks on it, but it does the job. Same with most of my weight plates in here are second hand off a of Facebook marketplace. Even some of my more expensive pieces of equipment are second hand and it just makes building a home gym much, much easier if you do buy second hand because it's pretty much half the price. Sometimes you can even get a really good deal and hold on to things for free. Uh, and you can get just as much use out of them as the previous owner. Nine times out of 10, people selling gym equipment on places like Facebook Marketplace bought it during the lockdown, for example, where gyms weren't open, had a small home gym set up, and then it's come to gyms reopening. They are going back to their regular gym and they just want to get rid of it quickly, just get some more money in the account. And oftentimes you can talk them down and get a pretty, pretty good price for a lot of really, really big stuff. So the next tip, if you do still want to buy new, then do not pay full price for anything. You don't have to pay full price for half of this equipment. I think there is only one or two pieces of equipment in here that I have paid full price for through various means, but the biggest one is just waiting for them to go on sale. So stuff like weight plates, 25 kilos is 25 kilos. These 25 kilo bumper plates from Mirafit were on a significant sale for like three pound a kilo. Uh, and at the time that was a really, really good price. I picked them up for significantly below retail value. Same with the yoke as well. Usually retails for about 300 pounds. I got it for about 250 in a uh, payday sale just after Christmas. Other things I've got in Black Friday. And it's just waiting for the right time or buying from the right supplier so that you're not paying full price for your pieces of equipment. For instance, another really good example of this is again, building off of the buying second hand as well is if you can combine buying second hand 
with buying during a time where there's a deal on, then you can get really good pieces of equipment. For instance, you get a second-hand barbell and some plates from someone who's uh, clearing out their garage gym, plus a power rack that's a bit nicer, maybe something like that you're going to want to spend a bit more money on, but it's still not full price because is it on sale during like Black Friday or something? And never paying full price is a really, really good way to buy anything, really. I mean, no one wants to pay full price, but when you're on the lookout for a deal, try different companies, try different times of year, uh, follow the companies on socials. That's how I find out a lot about my deals is I follow Mirafit on their socials, for example, and they will always put out when they've got certain offers on. Most companies' websites have an offers section. So when you're trying to build up your home gym, don't just go for the flashiest, most expensive bits. Have a look what's on offer. Have a look what you can get for a bit cheaper. And yeah, build your home gym on a budget that way. And if you're someone like me who does Strongman, there is a multitude of equipment you can get for completely free. And now I've done a video before about building an axle bar for literally no money. Uh, this is just an old scaffolding pole with some duct tape sleeves on it. It's really, really easy to get. You could do a massive amount of things with an axle bar. They're super easy to get. So you could deadlift. You could do everything you can with a barbell on an axle bar. Admittedly, it is slightly more challenging. But if you buy some second-hand plates somewhere really cheap, get yourself a free axle bar. You've got a home gym set up. I don't even care what you say. You need a barbell and plates. Uh, it's what you need. And also, you could build your own various different bits of equipment. A rack is very easy to get because it is just somewhere where you can place the barbell. You can build it. Out of wood, admittedly, it's not very strong, but these uh, this table here used to be my Atlas Stone platform and my safety spotters for squats, and they're just some old cabinets full of paper, so they're very dense, very heavy, and yeah, you could get a phenomenal amount for completely free, especially if you're like me and do strongman. So behind there, we've got some tires, we've got a keg back there, outside we've got a natural stone, all of these things have been completely free for me. And I get out, I get more use out of a lot of these strongman bits of equipment I've got for completely free than something like the lap pull down, which I bought for probably the most money I've spent on a single piece of equipment in this gym. It's yeah, fantastic how you can get so much for free and so much use out of it. And if you don't train strongman, but you're liking the idea of free equipment and getting into it, it's exactly the same way I got into it. I had no money for any equipment right at the start, but I had some natural stones, I had some tires, uh, and I was like, what can I do with that? Discovered Strongman, learned how to lift uh, all these things safely. And I mean, look at me now. I'm in a pretty nice home gym, pretty strong. So if you want to learn how to lift any sort of Strongman implement, just have a look at the rest of my training on my channel and it should give you some idea. And the final thing I'm going to go over for actually purchasing the equipment is buying bundles or little deals. Again, it's similar to deals, but you can buy bundles of things for instance i've got a barbell and plates in a bundle 500 pound flat free i really struggle to get that out then 500 pound flat fee of getting a barbell some plates and a bench all in one bundle significantly reduces the price if you were to buy them all separately they're things you're going to use they're things you're going to use for a long time as you can see every bit of gym equipment i've ever bought is still in this gym apart from one squat stand because i got rid of it while in the bedroom to make space but everything else i've kept on uh, and it always has some form of use so another tip that i have listened to quite significantly and i would absolutely advocate to anyone is start versatile and what i mean by that is don't jump in at the deep end and get yourself like a an atlas stone which you can only use for stone lifting and not much else like don't start with something that you can only use for one purpose start with and i think you know what i'm going to say start with a barbell and plates a barbell and plates can be used for anything you can work out every single body part with a barbell and plates it is the best place to start out and i don't know why you would start out anywhere else don't jump in and get yourself a seated calf raise machine because you want to train your calves get a barbell you could load up that bar hold it and do calf raises with a barbell like you could do anything with a barbell i don't i can't stress enough how important starting with a barbell and plates is then moving on to a rack and then before even getting a bench you want to get uh something like yeah like a barbell plates and a rack because you could always do floor press you can always do overhead press you don't, you don't need a bench to do bench press obviously a bench is probably next in the hierarchy to enable you to do uh, various things like chest supported seated 
uh, movements, but it is no by no means a priority to get done first. I mean, the bench I've got recently was a mirror fit one, but before that, I have just been using a rickety old Amazon Basics bench for various things. Obviously, it doesn't quite support what I live now, but it cost me literally 50 quid, which is a, a night out, like making smart decisions about where you want to put your money when starting a gym. Obviously, the whole saying of buy, buy good, buy once, and uh, buy old, buy twice, it does apply, but it also doesn't really apply because, as I said, you could always sell it secondhand for someone else who's starting a home gym to then buy it. And with a lot of these things that you can sell, you don't really make a loss. Like I bought the uh, Amazon Basics squat stands for maybe 60 quid when they were on Amazon. And then two years later, when I grew out of the bedroom gym and I got this rack, I sold them for 75 and actually made a profit on Facebook Marketplace. So I wouldn't really suggest buying, buying new to buy once. Uh, because you can save so much money and then when you come to have enough money to upgrade you can sell it for a, a, a very worst a small loss but at least on par or maybe even a profit so that would be my advice obviously if you have the money to splash out on a proper home gym setup this video isn't necessarily for you because this is how I have come up through university and being able to afford it through saving and through likes of throughout my uni career of uh, my three years of university, most people would spend two or three nights a week out getting drunk, smashing all their money on drink, drugs and food and all of that stuff. I did a lot of drinking and going out in my first year, then lockdown hit and when I started getting serious about the home gym and wanting a home gym, I cut out all drinking whatsoever and I saved a phenomenal amount of money doing so to spend on a gym equipment and gyms uh, in general. So it wouldn't be what I suggest because obviously people want to have fun and it's very off-putting for me to go quit drinking, quit going out. But if you just make slightly smarter decisions when you're out sticking to cheap drinks, sticking to one or two, not buying that kebab on the way home, it will quickly save up and you'd be quickly surprised at how quickly you can buy a piece of new gym equipment. Like Obviously, this is coming from a perspective of someone who has spare money to go out drinking uh, and going out i'm not saying that it's easy for anyone to save up and buy home gym equipment obviously uh, there's a lot of people in a much trickier situation but again then that's not really who this video is for uh, this is that middle ground where you're spending money elsewhere and this is a tip on how you can maximize that money you want to spend on a home gym so i think that is all the tips that i wanted to go over in this video so yeah cutting myself off before i get dangerously close to rambling. I know this video has been a bit different than some of my others and it's a bit more similar to my oldest videos where I had uh, lists and top five and top tips and I thought I've got some things to say now I'm standing in a pretty well established home gym about the come up and about how people who are also starting the journey of wanting a home gym. I've seen plenty of comments saying they're inspired by my home gym and want to get into a similar space that I thought this video would be very useful for those sorts of people. So Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. If you've made it this far, please be sure to hit like and subscribe. It helped me out massively. And of course, if you do end up starting your own home gym or you've got your own home gym setup that you would like me to see, please send me a photo on Instagram uh, of your home gym. I'd love to see it. I respond to pretty much everyone who uh, talks to me over there because I'm still a very small creator so I have that ability to interact quite heavily with the audience and of course comment down below if there's any tips you found when starting your own gym that might be helpful to the wider community watching this video but anyway thank you guys so much for watching I've been Toby and I will see you in the next video